also celebrate together with others around the world as one family. During this service, we will highlight all that God is doing in our lives through photographs and encouraging social media posts. Go to your favorite social media platform and post a picture using the hashtag Hashtag GCK second anniversary Hashtag Global Crusade with Kumuyi Upload a picture of what you would love to share and where you are watching from. For more information about these events and to stay connected with us, please visit our website at www.dclm.org. You can also follow us on social media for regular updates and inspiring content. Lord, praise the Lord. Shall we all rise up? While you do that, open your Bible to Psalm one two six. Psalm one hundred and twenty six, from verse one. Two to verse three. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for them. The Lord have done great things for us, whereof we are glad. We can say with every assurance that the Lord has done great things for us in this past 24 months of GCK. Let's lift up our voices in praise to give God glory for the wonderful and wonderful things He has done in our lives for the church, for the nation, and for the world at large. Wherever you are, open your mouth and begin to praise God. Wherever you are, begin to praise God for the wonders he has done. For us, for the church, for our families, and for the world at large. Through this GCK, the last 24 months, lives have been touched, families restored, souls revived. Let's thank God. And we are here this day, the moment of rejoicing, the spirit of praise. In Jesus' name, we pray. Our Heavenly Father, our hearts are full of praises for the wonderful things you have done for us through this program. We lift up your great name. We exalt your faithfulness. We are saying, Lord, let your name be exalted in Jesus' name. For the things you have done in the past, for the things you are doing today, and yet for what you are still going to do. We give you all the glory. And we pray, Lord, as we come together this moment for this praise and worship, doors will be opened. Heaven will come down. And your blessings will be showered upon everyone in Jesus' name. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. While you remain standing, let's have the song from the center page of our program. If God be for us. Rejoice in the Lord, or oh, let his mercy cheer. 
He thunders, the bars are destroyed. Redeemed by his blood, why should we ever fear? Since Jesus is our all in all. Be strong in the Lord, rejoicing in his might. Be loyal and true day by day. When evil assails, be violent for the right, and he will be our strength and stay. Confined in his word, he promised so sure. He cries the I, yeah, and amen. Though earth pass away, the ever shall endure. This written over and over again. Abide in the Lord, secure in his control. This life everlasting begun. To pluck from his hands the wicked, trembling soul, it never, never can be done. If God be for us, if God be for us, if God be for us, who can be against us? Who, who, who can be against us, against us?
Amen. A global, glorious celebration. Amen. God's faithfulness is worthy of our celebration. The past two years had been great for GCK. The past two years have been awesome. The past two years have been amazing. The past two years had been remarkable. The past two years had been extraordinary. The past two years had been unprecedented. The past two years had been phenomenal. The psalmist said, truly, God is good to Israel. We can say the same thing also, that truly, God is good to GCK. That's why we want to bless the name of the Lord this time for the ministers and the professional conferences that have been held throughout the GCK. We want to appreciate the Lord for the impact of his word, for the transformation through his word, for the restoration and for the renewal, as well as for the revival that had come to other ministries and churches here and there. We want to bless the name of the Lord that there are testimonies coming and abounding around the globe of the impact of these conferences. Many theological confusions have been removed. Many people that had not accepted the totality of the word of God, they now appreciate and embrace the word of God. Let's appreciate the Lord. Let's bless the name of the Lord for what he had done through these conferences. In Jesus' name we pray. A better amen. We want to bless the Lord for the testimonies that have been coming around the globe for the great impact of the ministers and the professional conferences. I want to appreciate the Lord for how he had used these conferences to be able to focus and to reorder many churches and many ministries back on the right path. Let's appreciate the Lord. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Testimonies everywhere coming from time to time. Number of ministers that have key in into the GCK and messages that have been received in messages, they are galloping from time, from month after month. Let's appreciate the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We want to bless the name of the Lord for his anointed servant. That God has raised up to bring about this vision. The vision that broke down the walls of partition between denominations. And uh, from different denominational affiliations and theological differences, people were able to sit down under the same teaching. Let's appreciate the Lord for the revelation. Let's appreciate the Lord for the auction. Let's thank the Lord for the anointing upon his servant that was able to minister to all categories of different ministers from different backgrounds. Let's appreciate the Lord. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Let's tell the Lord we are grateful for this instrument. You have raised up to fulfill your will at this time and to bring about the truth of the word of God. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Let's appreciate the Lord. Let's tell the Lord we are grateful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now we want to pray. As GCK enters his third year, we want to pray the Lord will grant us greater open doors. Open doors of acceptance around the globe. Accepting the truth with all the heart, with all earnestness. We want to pray that the message of the uniqueness of Christ will saturate and permeate every church. Saturate and permeate every ministry. The message of uniqueness of, of, uniqueness of Christ will permeate every seminary. 
all the Bible schools who want to pray, uniqueness of Christ will be called, will be held all for everyone to see. We want to pray that the message of uniqueness of Christ will permeate all the conferences around the globe and all the Christian institutions and all the Christian universities. We want to pray faith based institutions around the world. Let's pray that the uniqueness of Christ will be celebrated, will be upheld, will be held with all tenacity. Let's pray that the message of Christ, the uniqueness of Christ, will saturate every place. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We want to pray this prayer, special prayer. Shortly before and after the anointing of David as king, the first thing God did for him was to send him helpers and supporters unto him that will help him fight the battles and also fulfill the will of God for his life. The record is in 1 Chronicles chapter 12. So these helpers and supporters, they did not only come from his own tribe Judah, they came from God, the tribe of God. They came from Issachar. They came from Sebulon. They came from Benjamin. They came from Manasseh. They came from the tribe of Naphtali. And they came together to support David to fulfill the vision that God has given to him. We're going to pray that God will raise up ministers that will help to drive the vision of the GCK. We want to pray in every continent, in every nation, in every ethnic group, in every people group, in every language, in every tongue, in every color, in every race, oh Lord, raise helpers, raise ministers that will be able to drive the vision of taking the gospel to every creature and of fulfilling the great commission. Let's lift up our voices and call upon the Lord. Oh Lord, as you did for David, you will do for your servant. That the vision of GCK to take the gospel to every race, every color, every creature will be realized. Oh Lord, raise ministers. Oh Lord, raise preachers that you be able in every continent, in every race, in every color, that you be able to drive the vision, to fulfill the vision of taking the gospel to the uttermost part of the earth. For every creature, let's pray that the Lord will do it. Let's pray that the Lord will do it. Let's pray that the Lord will do it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A greater amen. The apostles were in Jerusalem, but God raised up Philip. He went everywhere into the cities. He went to Samaria, from there to city and to city until he got to Samaria. We are going to pray. God will raise the likes of Philip in our generation to be able to drive the vision of GCK. They will go there, they will be connected with GCK, and they will be driving the vision. Let this gospel get everywhere. Oh Lord, raise up Philips in all the nations around the world that will be able to drive the vision of the GCK. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Finally, we are going to pray that Abacock chapter 2, the prophecy of Abacock chapter 2 verse 14 will be fulfilled in our generation. And GCK will be able to fulfill this vision. For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God as waters cover the, as waters cover the sea. We are going to pray that this prophecy will be fulfilled. Shall we call upon the Lord? Oh Lord, let the earth be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God as waters cover the sea. In Jesus Jesus name we pray amen father we are grateful unto you thank you for what you have done for the past two years we are grateful unto you through the ministers and the professional conferences thank you for the testimonies of great things you have done your name be exalted forever in jesus name father we are asking lord as this cancer is taught here greater things you will do. We shall see you 
using the minister's conference to ignite revival around the globe in Jesus' name. Raise up ministers and helpers that will be able to drive the GCK vision to fulfill your will of the great fulfilling the great commission. We pray in our generation, we shall see the fulfillment of the having filled with the knowledge of the glory of God as cover the sea in Jesus' name. Strengthen your servant the more and let this vision come to reality. Thank you, Father, because you know you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. states and nations across the world there is a blood that cost a life that paid my way it's price when it flowed down from the cross my sins were gone my sins forgot there is a grave that tried to hide this precious blood that gave me love 